Hi, my name is Laurel Pillars, and I teach English language arts to ninth graders, 11th graders, and oral communications to 11th and 12th graders. I'm looking forward to offering public speaking as a concurrent enrollment course for our students at St. Clair starting next fall. A um, couple things that have been on my mind at this moment would be worrying about the health and safety of friends and family amongst the pandemic, um, enjoying the warm weather with family, being able to make s'mores and garden and go outside has been really nice this spring. Um, juggling the homework of my kids during um, distance learning along with the responsibilities that I have as a teacher and then the um, coursework for the summer session for graduate classes has been a lot going on even though we've been at home we've still been really busy and active and um then the my final kind of thought would be just kind of wrapping my head around what things might look like in the future once this pandemic is over so what are three values that i have i would say that i value sincerity so when somebody speaks to me with honesty and transparency so that I feel like what they're telling me is the truth and that I can rely on that information. Um, I also value prudence, which is kind of contradictory because when we think of prudence, we think of people um, filtering their thoughts and not sharing everything. But I, um, I'm not Catholic, but I lived in a Catholic community in Central America for about 12 years. And one thing that I, that I learned from that community was the value of prudence in the sense that you don't act before you consider how it affects other people. So um, that's something that I've come to really value throughout my life. I might not have um, been taught that in my childhood, but in my young adult years, I really saw it put into practice through a religious faith that I wasn't part of. And I came to really respect and value that. And then trustworthiness. So whether or not I'm able to be, um, believe that somebody is being truthful and honest, I would value that somebody is being trustworthy, that they're speaking with sincerity. So what words would my friends and family use to describe me? I would say that my friends and family would consider me determined, that when I have a goal, I really do everything in my power to accomplish it. And I also, um, I think I would be considered resilient like in the face of adversity and struggles and challenges that I work really hard to overcome whatever barriers there might be in order to accomplish my goals. And then what is one thing that I have Googled recently was um, how to make a window flower box because that's something that um, my husband and I have kind of like been toying with trying to figure out. Um, we haven't quite decided whether we want to uh, drill into our side, the siding of our house, but we're still kind of uh, thinking about that idea. So that's what I have been doing today. And I look forward to seeing um, everybody else's videos and um, sharing with their interactions as they've been going throughout this week and today.